Hello, this is Philip, and welcome to my channel for a new episode of uh, my tutorial about KOS. Uh, in this episode, I will show you how to uh, how to write functions and how to use it, and what what is the purpose of functions. First of all, you have to to open a new folder in Visual Studio Code if you use it. Uh, I, I will use it every time uh, I can. Right. Okay. So open folder. You select your KSP folder, and then you go to the Shifts folder and the Script folder. Then you select the folder. In the left here, you have your uh, script folder with the boot folder and uh, the scripts uh, you have written. Uh, so this is the launch script from the last episode and the orbit script. I wrote a test script uh, and we will use that script today. Uh, in this uh, left menu you can directly uh, create a new file or a new folder and this is very handy. New file, okay. Boom, you, you have your new uh, script, your new KS script and you can delete it if you want. Okay. So let's open test.ks. Um, so I, I, I have here a, a clear screen. Uh, then this is the countdown. Print 3, 2, 1 and a 0. I forgot to quote um, characters. And uh, then print ignition, lift off and then shoot activated. Okay. Um, one purpose of the function is to uh, divide your work into smaller uh, scripts. Uh, in this way, you don't have to solve uh, all the problems at one time. You just solve a smaller problem one after another. For example, here, this is my countdown. So, I will create a function called countdown. You, you can write your function everywhere you want on your script. It can be at the beginning or at the end. Uh, what matters is that the uh, function is written some, somewhere. So, uh, the keyword to create a function is function. Then you have to name your function. Um, I like to use uh, a verb and a noun. Starts, okay. This this function starts something, and I want to start countdown. Okay. Uh, my so the function uh, is created to start the countdown. Then I have to use the uh, curved bracket, and I press enter. And uh, this is my countdown. So I will copy this or cut this and past here okay so here now what uh, should I write I just write start countdown okay uh, I, I can use uh, you know uh, um, uh, uppercase or lowercase doesn't matter and you see because the function exists uh, VSC uh, proposes me some uh, some word here start countdown and because this is a function I have to use brackets uh, we are explain later the, the purpose of the bracket so KOS read my script from the beginning from the top clear screen then he read that function start countdown so it will it will show, search somewhere in my script where he can find the definition of that function up, so we go here. Okay, start function, start countdown is the, this part of script. So it will uh, KOS will execute that lines, those lines. Okay, three, two, one, zero, and then it go back to line four. Stage, stage. No, no, no. Now, if you want to uh, use the countdown in every uh, script you uh, you are writing. 
you just have to write start countdown and you don't have to uh, write all of this again the only thing is that your function must be uh, accessible for all your scripts and I will explain that in, in a other video, the next video. Okay, so this is a function with uh, empty uh, brackets. So that function uh, doesn't need any parameter. Okay, so the function does exactly what it is written here. Now, you see I have uh, each time a stage with a print. So I can create another function, uh, do stage, and I will use it every time I have to stage and print something. something. So the first line of my function will be stage, and then print something. Okay. So. Uh, this something is a variable and for the function this is a parameter so in the first line of the function I have to write parameter and the name of the parameter is something okay and uh, how uh, do I use that function with a parameter here I will write do stage and using uh, the brackets inside the brackets I write my parameter the, the something here I want my function to uh, print ignition so inside the brackets I write ignition okay so I can now delete this obviously I, uh, I have to finish my instruction with a dot here Notice that uh, outside the function, I don't need uh, any period uh, character to end the function because the function definition of the function is uh, right here be between the curve bracket. Okay, so uh, do stage ignition, then I wait one second, and here I want to uh, do stage lift off. All right, do stage lift off. and I delete that and then do stage uh, shoot activated and this is one of the purpose of uh, the the function uh, I can add some comments here using that and uh, for example like this and uh, functions just to recall that uh, the main script script is here and uh, below that it only the definitions of my functions okay so um, the script is not is more is more it's now easier to read because okay I create clear the screen all right and then I start countdown whatever it means and I uh, do a stage of the ignition I do stage lift off and I do stage shoot activated well just to show you that the script works well uh, I will test it okay so um, we have to uh, run uh, we have to switch to zero and uh, run Our, um, our test file okay, run tests let's go the countdown to one zero with and then lift off and when the dwell time is zero we wait until the um, vertical speed is negative and then the parachute is activated and uh, the program is ended. Imagine here you don't want to uh, print uh, ignition lift off, just want to uh, print stage activated. Okay, you, you have to write stage activated each time here and then here and here. 
and uh, if you uh, must uh, do uh, I don't know 10 stagings uh, during your flight it will be a lot of work to write each time stage activated you don't, you don't have to to make a, a mistake or a typo I don't know um, the easiest way to do that is to uh, change that parameter something this is a mandatory parameter you have to write something here but you can make that parameter optional doing this you can uh, write parameter something is stage activated and here you print something that way if you don't write anything here then it will check the parameter and it will check its default value stage activated but you can change that uh, for example in the last stage if I want to uh, write uh, shoot activated I can do this and this time uh, instead of the default value uh, the function do stage will uh, choose the value I, I have uh, written here so shoot activated all right I'm about to test my uh, test script let's go three two one zero stage activated once again stage activity activated and for the last stage it should uh, write it, it should it should print should activated for the last part of this video I will show you how to uh, mix uh, the uh, optional parameters and uh, mandatory parameters so it is just an example of uh, what you can do it's not very the best here to do but it's just to show you for example I want to uh, write a function to activate the shoot okay so activate shoot in that function I want uh, a mandatory uh, parameter that is the the, um, the vertical speed here I want to wait, wait until vertical speed is negative uh, we can imagine I want to wait until the vertical speed is less than uh, negative 5 no, no. for example and uh, then I can write the shoot activated okay why not it's not a very important function but why not and uh, then I have to create this function so function activate uh, shoot and what I want to do in that function I want to wait until vertical speed is less than a certain speed okay so uh, here I have to uh, write a, a speed a v speed like vertical speed Okay, and um, I want to do a stage so I can use another function inside a function so I want to do stage and I want it to write a shoot activated so do stage and inside something uh, okay so that function activate shoots has two parameters the second one is um, optional and the first one is um, mandatory so the parameter v speed is a number okay and the second parameter uh, something is optional okay and uh, it will be for example here because uh, the function is activate shoot I think the best uh, optional parameter is to be shoot activated and no stage activated shoot activated so I don't really need that because this is the default value of something so if I don't write anything anything 
uh, it will be uh, written shoot activated. So I don't need this anymore, nor this. Okay. Um, so here, activate shoot. There is only one number inside uh, the function. The first number is, or the first argument is the mandatory argument, v speed. So wait until vertical speed is less than v speed. And the second argument is optional. So I can write something or nothing. If I write nothing, uh, then shoot activated will be the uh, default value. It is always um, the, the mandatory argument. It is always the first to be written. Okay. You always have to um, write, to define, to declare your uh, mandatory parameter first uh, before the um, optional parameters. You can have uh, multiple um, mandatory parameters. You can have multiple optional parameters, but all the mandatory parameters must be declared before the um, optional parameters. Uh, so let, let's try this code. All right, everything look, looks good. So let's press enter. Three, two, one. Stage activated, stage activated. And then we have to wait until the uh, vertical velocity, vertical speed here. It's not less than zero, but less than negative five. So today you have learned how to write a function, how to um, use it just as a short, shortcut. Okay, uh, start come down is nothing else than uh, writing two words, start come down instead of all uh, those instructions. Uh, you can use a function with without parameters or with only um, um, optional parameters or with mandatory parameters and you can mix both mandatory parameter and optional parameter. That's all for this uh, video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.